Hey everyone, it's MK. Welcome back from my weekly live feed. And today I'm, I'm gonna change it up a little bit with my live feed. I have a very short list for today, but I felt very compelled today to um, kind of come to you and talk about quilting as a community. Do you ever feel like you belong to this industry and, and it's just such a blessing to you? Maybe you have a quilt guild that you belong to or a small group of ladies or guys that you get together and you just are there to encourage each other and learn from each other, share your ideas, share your art form. Well, if, if your answer was yes, then you're like me. I just came from my one of my guild meetings this morning, and it's always such a fun day of the week for me, just to go and to listen who, to whoever the speaker was. Today we had a really awesome quilter who started back in the 70s and just you know showed a bunch of her work from then till now, and just all different kinds of things that we learn at guild. And, and you sit there and you visit, and, and it's just fun. And you build each other up, right? Um, I don't know if you saw recently, there, there's there been a story and a video going around about somebody in our industry that um, actually is a very famous quilter and who has felt like maybe that hasn't been the case for her. And um, you know, when I see stories like that, I, I'm a little bit, I'm pained by that because you know, that's what, what, what we quilters, we're not all about that, are we? We're about love for what we do and sharing that love for other people. So I choose to believe that stories like that and, and like, things like that that happen, I, I think those are very much not the norm in our industry, and I hope that they're not. So I, I wanna take that as a lead in, and I'm gonna put a link in, in the comments below. But you know I've been talking for a few weeks now about my video hosting site and how I'm expanding that to be a community of quilters, inviting people to come on board with that. And Paula Jo from Cedar Quilts, I've been talking about her for a while now, her and I did a video outtake and we talk with each other about this very thing, about quilting as a community and how we are blessings to each other and, and how we love to share what it is that we have and, and to bring other people in into that. So I'm gonna put that link below. Paula's first uh, video class is up for sale, up for rent on my hosting site. So go ahead and take a look at that. And I'm trying to support Paula because I think she has a lot of gifts and talents. I think she has a lot to give, a lot to share, and you all have a lot to learn. So I'm gonna ask you to share this video. I'm gonna ask you to share Paula's websites and her videos. Of course, share mine. You know, that's been a really awesome thing for me. So um, spread the love, spread the love of quilting today and keep it positive. And when you see those other other stories don't be don't be afraid to stand up and say you know what that's not right and and that's not what I'm about so that's really it for today I have been out like I say at my guild meeting and I just wanted to talk a little bit about community because you know this thing that we belong to it's one of the things that I love about quilting is there's just so many avenues to quilting. There's just so many ways that you can take the skills that you have and just and go out there and find what it is that draws you in. Okay, so keep it positive. Be a blessing to somebody today with your quilting. And uh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Of course, I had a small list of things that are still ongoing here at MK Quilts. I got the needles for sale, I got the glide feet for sale, I got my leaders and leader grip zippers, package bundle, all of that's going on. I want to thank you personally for your support for me and always being a positive encouragement for me. And I hope that I am that for you. You know, I talk about Mr. MK sometimes, actually I talk about him a lot. And he gave me a really, really awesome piece of advice when I first got into um, my business, being a professional long armor. He just said, you know what, Melissa? Always be you. Be authentically you. And you will be successful. Of course, always be, be um, honest with people and just be fun. And if you do those things, the success in your business will follow. Okay, so I try to be humble and stick with that always. Um, so thank you so much for being a part of my journey. Um, and until next week, everybody, it's MK from my studio to yours. Happy quilting. Bye-bye.